Minnesota wins the toss and defers. Northwestern will receive. And of course, Minnesota will kick towards the south end of the end zone. AJ Henning lets it roll right into the end zone for a touchback. And that is how we begin. The Northwestern coaching staff hoping that they can see from Ben Bryant what they have seen in practice. And it can hopefully translate here in the game. A.J. Henning in motion. Bryant on the play action and absolutely drilled. It is Jack Henderson making the defensive play for Minnesota. Porter again motions into the offset, third and eight. Not the series that Northwestern wants, but a big first down pickup and the grab from Cam Johnson. Tyler Newbin applying the hit after the catch. The give to Porter across the 40, trying to push his way to the 45. There's a flag in the backfield. Holding. Offense number eight, 10 yard penalty, second down. Second and 11 is now second and 21 here for the Wildcats. Braun stays in the pocket. And checks it down, finds A.J. Henning at the crossing route. He is the Swiss Army knife for this Northwestern offense. They use him in all kinds of different ways. You can see touches by tight here this season. Bryant steps into the pocket. He's got to run, tucks it, and just at the sticks. Hunter Renner is your punter. Rugby-style punt. To Quentin Redding with a fair catch. A punt of 38. And over to Darius Taylor, the talented running back Darius for Minnesota. Back-to-back -back freshman of the week honors. Saw in that graphic, a native of Antioch, Illinois, right at the border of Illinois and Wisconsin, about a 45-minute drive north here from Chicagoland. Kaliak Manis intended for Brockington, and the pass broken up but a flag on the play. Holding, defense number two, 10 yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic first down. First and 10 from the 30. Kaliak Menes to Taylor once again. Really about a pickup of about a yard. Brevin's band forward on the move. Kaliak Menes. Moving out of the pocket, and that time connects with Taylor and gets some extra yardage on the catch. A pickup of 12 there for Minnesota. Northwestern defense that has allowed basically a, a score on the first drive of every single game this year. Right at the sticks, the connection made with Daniel Jackson. David Braun, the interim head coach here for the Wildcats. Three passes, three first downs. Three, on three first downs here for Minnesota. Taylor trying to pick up some yardage. Not really anything there for him early. Another pickup of two. Kenny Soares Jr. on the tackle. Second and 10 after the pickup of two. Again, Taylor's numbers. A little bit more daylight down the middle. Pushed back by the stone. Bryce Williams making an appearance. You see their number 21 in the backfield. Hadn't played since week one here for Minnesota. We heard Elise's report. We were expecting him to, to get some reps. P.J. Fleck actually kind of alluding to us this week. Might be a few. And on the first play that he gets, he gets his number called but pushed out well short of the line to gain. Or Crawford, your punter for the Gophers. A.J. Henning, we've talked about the different kind of touches that he'll get. Also here in the return game, but again, a, a fair catch call. He'll let it bounce behind him. Across the middle, first pass to Bryce Kurtz, playing in his third game here this season. The fake to Porter, looking deep downfield. And Bryant, that's his first incompletion intended for A.J. Henning. 
That's Tariq Watson on the coverage there from Minnesota and a flag coming near side right around the 30 yard line. After the play was over, personal foul late hit. Offense number 98, half the distance to the goal. It is second down. So second and 22, Northwestern faced with second and long in the first drive as well. Whips it around and Kurtz is back for Northwestern. And Baranowski making the play and uh, another flag. Getting a little physical here between these two teams early in the first quarter. Personal foul, late hit, defense number six. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Baranowski getting more time. Red shirt freshman getting all kinds of snaps in a starting position here from Minnesota. It's Bryant who keeps, no, it's Lausch entered into this game. And Jack Lausch, we've been told he's going to use him a lot of different ways. A very athletic player here for the Wildcats. Bryant back in. And again, swings it over. This time, Lausch the receiver and is pushed back by about three gopher defenders. Third and five, trips to the left of Bryant. He looks over that way. Pass was, looks like it was slightly deflected. Flag comes out, Henny grabs it. Pass interference, offense, number 89. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Third down. Third and 20. This offense up against it. Henny, balls pop loose, and the ball is recovered by Minnesota. Great field position, and the Gophers forcing a turnover. It's Kyler Baugh who picks it up. A fumble recovery. The ruling on the field is fumble recovery defense. For a Gopher First defender that's having quite a year here so far. Making end zone, pass is complete and caught. Lamecki Brockington, his first touchdown of the season. Dragon Kesic with the extra point. Minnesota strikes first, 7 nothing against the Wildcats. Uh, touchback. You can see Minnesota scoring its first points in the first quarter this season on that touchdown. Hyman has entered the game for the first time for Northwestern again, trying to take some deep shots just out of the outstretched arms of Henny. Bryant again back to throw. And again deflected and almost into the hands of Joseph Hyman. Northwestern has gone with five straight plays in the air for Bryant. Make it six straight. And overshoots Cam Johnson on the sideline. The pressure was coming. A low punt for Reddick. Chris Ottman Bell at the top of your screen. Only played a handful of snaps this year here for the Gophers. They give it to Taylor. Eighth and a first time having the starting duties all his own. Of course, Tanner Morgan, the all-time winningest quarterback in Minnesota history. Third down, got to get to midfield, right at the 50, to Taylor. And he will get swallowed up immediately. Bryce Gallagher again, as well as Devin Turner making the play for Northwestern. Mark Crawford to punt, again to A.J. Henning. And another fair catch call. Long ways to go here for the Cats. They start on their own five. And Porter doing a good job trying to find a crease and a seam right in the middle of the field. Ryan Selig with the tackle, a pickup of six. Big game there out of what wasn't really much there. With Brian under center, again the handoff to Porter. Selig again. Third and one. A big first down here for the Wildcats, getting out of trouble. And Porter doing the heavy lifting to get him out of trouble. Three straight runs. And a gain of 20 to get out of trouble. Porter once again, why not? Tripped up right at the 30-yard line by Trayvon Jones. 
but a gain of six. Cam Porter, it seems to me, at least the last couple of plays here, running away from Kyler Ball. He's their most effective block hitter on the interior of Minnesota's defense. Trayvon Jones making that tackle, but hobbling off to the far sideline there for Minnesota, so we'll keep an eye on that. Nowhere to go that time for Porter. And in again on the move. Bryant back to pass to Henning, and he dies, but this is just short of the first down. That is not what the Wildcats want to see. A.J. Henning used in so many different ways, hobbling off. The short punt, and a fair catch call by Redding. Kelly McManus all kinds of time deep downfield over to Jackson, his receiver, and the pass broken up beautifully. Azama. That's an exceptional play. Flag is down in the backfield here. Holding offense number 88. Ten yard penalty. First down. Kelly McManus. In the feed to Taylor, being chased on the outside. And gets to the 30. Gain of eight. Looking at Matt Simon, co-offensive coordinator. He is not the one who calls the plays. Greg Harbo in the booth does that for the first time here for Minnesota. Both of them co-offensive coordinators. Tripped up. Taylor is. Another pickup of six. And dealing with a third and six situation. Kaliak Manis again, some time to throw. Only one incomplete. First down pickup. And Bryce Williams handing it to the Gophers, plus 15 on that play. Oh, a one handed oh. grab. Unbelievable catch. Corey Crooms Jr. with the highlight for the Gophers. Ankle tackle by Gallagher. A pick up of eight. Second and short. Taylor again gets the call. Gets the first down after a pickup of five. Garnett Hollis Jr. with the tackle. One on one's on the outside, both sides. Taylor gets it. Taylor pushing his way towards the end zone and stopped just short. Chris Altman Bell far side here for Minnesota. But this is going to be Taylor's attempt to try to get six here for Minnesota. There is Taylor, the ball carrier. Taylor again right up the middle. Touchdown, Minnesota. Touchdown. Kessich again for the extra point. And another touchback. Really important piece, a playmaker for this Northwestern offense. Porter, meanwhile, also a playmaker. Picks up the first down, but a, a flag coming out. Holding, offense number 71. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Iman is your running back. Bryant to throw, hanging on. And the catch is made. Right at the 30 yard line, a gain of 15 for Marshall Lang. He took a physical tackle from Darius Green. Second and five situation here for the Wildcats. And Henning on the jet sweep. Gets the first down. And used A.J. Henning in that kind of jet sweep action a lot here this year. Stood out to Joe Rossi, Minnesota's defensive coordinator, so that guy can run. Bryant again looking deep downfield, but well short. It was Bryce Kurtz in the area at least. He's a guy who's shown he can be a bit of a spark plug for Northwestern. Joseph Hyman, your receiver, and wrapped up and sacked. It is Jack Henderson making the play. The Louisiana native in his first year at Minnesota. Second on the team in tackles coming into this game. Bryant steps into it. Flushed out of the pocket. 
Chris Collins there to meet him. Quinton Rudding again, ready, ready to receive on this punt. And out of bounds. This time is run. Pickup of about two on that play. None of us are really certain exactly what Minnesota's offense would look like coming into this season with Kirk Sharaka gone to Rutgers. Big gain for Taylor, picks up the first down, gets tripped up just short of midfield, but a first down run and a pickup of 18. Kaliuk Manis, this time into the air for Darius Taylor. Bryce Williams now gets the handoff and fighting for some tough yards. See where they spot him just short of Bryce the line Williams to gain. And they call Taylor to get the first down. He does that across the 30. Taylor with another nice gain and brought out at about the 18-yard line, plus 25 on that run. Kaliak Manas play action. And off the one foot into the end zone. Passes caught Daniel Jackson for the Minnesota touchdown. A.J. Henning, the return man, lets it bounce into the end zone. See if the Wildcats can generate something. A tackle for a loss. All over it, Baranowski. And a loss of five on that play. Going nowhere. Brings up second down. Second and 15. Out of that timeout, Bryant avoiding pressure and lofting it. The pass is complete and a big game. Bryce Kurtz taking it all the way for the Northwestern touchdown. That's what the Cats needed, 80 yards for the Wildcats. Jack Olson with the extra point. A little over two minutes to go in the half. Minnesota's offensive line that began to establish some dominance in recent drives here. See if they can salt the half away with the football. And remember, Minnesota will get the ball to start this second half. Hot out of Big Kane. Chunk play for chunk play. Taylor getting it done. And plus territory. And Darius Taylor, a gain of 40 on that run. And what a first half he is putting together. Kaliak Manis to Taylor gets pushed back. And about three to four Northwestern defenders there. Two, it's second and 12. Ball start, offense number 88. Five yard penalty, second down. Brevin span forward, so pushes it back, second and 17. Minnesota going in the direction it doesn't want to go. Bryce Williams. Jalen Pate there to make the play. For Cali McManus is a perfect eight for eight. Avoiding pressure. Cali McManus will tuck and run and leap over to the Western defender. Short of the first down. His career long is 47 in a game. Do you believe in the announcer picks? I don't. I okay. don't think we have that much power, but we'll see. <laughs> it's on you. I'll take the ball. 50 yarder on the way. 50-yarder squeezes inside, and the 50-yarder is good. Another touchback. And Brian out of the shotgun. And will run and get out a pickup of seven. Thomas Gordon in motion. Brian again steps into it, and pressure's coming. Jaw Joyner, once again, kind of meeting Brian at the doorstep several times here in this first half. Now third and three. 
Change of pace, shiftiness by Porter to pick up the first down. And Porter, the ball And a flag on the play. Holding. Offense 22. 10 yard penalty to the spot of the foul. foul. Third down. Third down. Third and 11. And Brian throws it away. Quinton Redding back to receive. And the fair catch call. Taylor, when you, you factor everything that he's done in about three and a half games here for Minnesota in his career, how about 470 yards on the ground? And that factors in the 137 that he has here in the first half. Kaliak Manos has been perfect in the first half. Oh. And on the sideline, Daniel Jackson, that's a tough throw and a tough catch to make. He is still a perfect nine for nine, a gain of 15. Manus fakes to Taylor and the pass deflected. Second down. Kalik Manus again intercepted. Nope, Turner nearly had it. Bryce Williams is your tailback. Kalik Manus shifting, avoiding pressure, and brought down. Aiden Hubbard with the play for Northwestern. Bryant connects with Kurtz. So Northwestern can definitely find its moments if it finds its playmakers. Cam Porter finds the first down and pushed out of bounds by Henderson. Gain of 13 for Porter. Right at the top, Jack Lausch. Caught a pass in the first half. Bryant rolling out. And a short gain on the pass play and the connection to Mangieri. Again, they were going to use Jack Lausch in so many different ways, now lining up in the shotgun. And Lausch sheds off a tackler. That was Jaw Joyner, who was giving Ben Bryant all kinds of problems. He was able to to at least escape him for a couple of yards. Lausch, such a great athlete, originally was going to play baseball at Notre Dame. Northwestern circled back to him after a decommitment with a quarterback. And the rest is history. Brian off the one foot. And a first down catch is made by Kurtz. Again, Henning in motion. They feed Henning. Cuts it back on the inside. Anthony Smith to tackle. Pick up a five. See him kind of hobbling off. He heard Elise Menneker's report in the first half. Went into the tent. Lausch back to Bryant. Trying to look for Lausch. Dangerous play. Lausch makes the grab and the ball is loose. Another fumble for Northwestern. The Wildcats might have recovered. They lost the fumble in the first half that did result in a touchdown. But recovering it here and still life. And the Minnesota 25. Down in the backfield, another sack here for this Minnesota defense. Anthony Smith, the first to get to him, a loss of eight. Luther McCoy combining. Lausch is at the out there on the field as well for Northwestern. A nice tackle. Yeah, tackle for loss. How about right Jack Henderson back. making another play? The FCS transfer for Minnesota, really making his, his presence felt here tonight. Porter, the shiftiness, finds some room, just short of the line to gain. Tyler Newpin with another tackle, gain of 15, brings up fourth down. Jack Olson, 37-yard attempt. Kick is up and good. Jack Olson connecting on the second field goal of his career with the kickoff. 
deep into the end zone. A couple of former players. That was a priority here for P.J. Fleck to bring him back. Taylor. There is Taylor Met in the there. backfield and a loss of four. Kalia Cabanis, short pass play to span four. A gain of four. Kalia Cabanis on third and long, just short of the line to gain. Daniel Jackson with the reception of a pickup of nine, but short of the first down. Daniel Jackson's been active, though, tonight. Four catches, 53 yards, of course, the touchdown. The quick handoff, missing another tackler. How about that, Hyman? Joseph Hyman beating the Minnesota defense for a big game. <laughs> my, oh my. A flag, and it might be coming back right now. A gain of 30 for number 20, holding. but you can see with his reaction, holding. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. I was going to make a joke that they had had 18 holding penalties, but yeah, I digress. <laughs> the number's actually six. We've got the answers for you. Crossing pattern, pass broken up. Nice play again. Baranowski's made some presence. Bryant was aiming for A.J. Henning. And on the coverage, Darius Green. Western's had a tough time of it on third down. You see their numbers there. Checks it down to Hyman. Check that. Anthony Tyus, who snuck in this game. Hunter Runner. Minnesota got close to that. Some change left here in the third quarter. Minnesota going to run it, chew up some clock. Taylor chews up some other yards, give him seven on that run, and Turner and Johnson on the tackle. Second and three. And Cali Kamanis' reaction to his coach. Coach Fleck took two hours out of his day after the game to talk to me individually about life, not even the game of football. And that was something that I really appreciated. Um, just there, just being, you know, a good person. He had every right to talk to me about the game and talk about, you know, things I could have, that I messed up because I know I messed up a lot of things, but he took two hours out of his day to just talk to me as a person, as a friend, as a coach, um, and as another father figure. And I thought that was, re that was really special to me. On third down and two, tripped up. Picks up two for Taylor. Power formation here for Minnesota. Taylor gets the call, trying to push his <laughs> way. Contact <laughs> is made. Look at this. Darius Taylor needed one. He gets way more than that. How about 43 for another touchdown for the freshman? <laughs> 185 yards on the ground for Taylor. It's a big decision, man. I mean, P.J. Fleck would have gotten questioned for that a lot after the game if it doesn't go that way Darius Taylor made him look like an aggressive genius some momentum on Minnesota's side a first down pass play immediately going to Kurtz gain of 13. Well, now that we're in the waning stages of the third quarter 21 point margin it means something different than it did of course in the first half now this makes it more difficult for Northwestern to stick with the run Brian again to pass. And just an uh, off connection between him and A.J. Henning. They tried that route a, a few times and, and haven't had success with it. Brian again to that left side. Tackles made against Cam Johnson. Gain of 13. All for different head coaches in 
and all of those stops. Bryant stepping into the pocket, drops it off to Hyman. Picks up the first down across the 35, a gain of 16. Henderson making the Joseph tackle. Hyman. Quick trigger. Driving across the 30, gain of six for Kurtz. Northwestern getting off one final play here in the third. Setting off some pressure and diving the flag coming out. Maybe a targeting call. After the play was over, personal foul, late hit, defense number 20. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run results in a first down. That is the end of the third quarter. John Joyner's had a big night rushing the quarterback for the Gophers. He was out most of the series up until now. He's got an extended break. Lausch looking for Hyman. Looked like there was maybe a, a confusion there between the two, but it results in a plus four advantage here for the Wildcats. Tyler Newbin, another tackle. Lausch stays in. He's only attempted two passes here this year. In motion is Kurtz. Lausch will keep it. Cutting back into the inside, trying to stretch his way to the five-yard line. Chris Collins with the stop. And Bryant back in at quarterback. Porter back in at running back. He gets the handoff inside the five. Gain of two. Second fourth and one here for Northwestern with one yard to go. And they just gave it to him. We'll change it to first and goal. Kurtz is your receiver at the top of your screen. And in motion, Mangieri. Here's Porter. Porter stopped just short. Second and goal, a pickup of three. Bryant now under center. To Porter. Pushes his way across the goal line for the Wildcat touchdown. Jack Olson for the extra point. 31 to 17. I was talking to Daryl Thompson before the game. He could not be more impressed with what he's seen from Darius Taylor. Second and nine. Taylor again chewing up some clock. And you mentioned how highly touted you know, Darius Taylor. They were talking about who would replace Mo Ibrahim. There were some big questions out of Detroit, Michigan. Third and seven. Kelly Manis flushed out of the pocket. Pressure coming from Pate. And forced to toss it away, brings up fourth down. A.J. Henning. Not seen any returns on these punts here tonight. P.J. Fleck has talked about all kinds of experience and inexperience with this 2023 Minnesota football team. Deep pass and the connection made again to guess who? Kurtz. Bryce Kurtz has been the main target for Ben Bryant and a gain of 21 on that pass play. Again, eight catches coming into tonight for Kurtz. Eight catches in this game, alone against Minnesota. Again, going Kurt's way. How about that? Dropping it in the bread basket. Pickup of 29. And right there, Ben Bryant couldn't have gone out and handed the football to Bryce Kurtz any more accurately than that. Down to seven. And Northwestern just moving down the field. Bryant, good footwork. How about Kurtz? Touchdown! What a night! Climbs the pocket with urgency and throws an absolute dart right there between the one and the seven. Bryce Kurtz in the paint. What an angle, what a look. 80-yard touchdown, a 17-yard score. Couple of touchdowns for Kurtz. Extra point is good for Olsen. <laughs> 
Colts and Minnesota. What do the Gophers have as a response? Kelly McManus, play action. Gets away from the pressure. And weaving his way, slides just short of the first down. Not only has Bryce Kurtz never had a, a 200 yard receiving game, uh, the first Northwestern wide receiver since 2018, but factor this, he's had more yards tonight than any season total in his career. Oh. Yeah, second and three. Trying to cut it and gets up the first down, Darius Taylor again. Taylor still your running back, 26 carries for him, 191 yards as we continue to track his nine. Inside eight and a half left to play. Taylor gets the call. And draws up about three yards on that run. Second and eight. Taylor. Again, so shifty, gets across the 40. Pate making the stop. He picks up another three. Bryce Williams now in on this third and five situation. Three receivers to the bottom of your screen. Santo Saka up top. Slings it over to Span Ford, who gets pushed back short of the first down and another defensive stop. Remember when I said that we haven't seen any returns on these punts here tonight? This would be interesting if A.J. Henney decides to break that pattern. Mark Crawford with the punt. David Brown says it's actually not something he views as his strength in a lot of scenarios, but he's continued to work at the craft of being a head coach in a scenario where he did not enter this role expecting to have it. Handoff on the first play here for Northwestern. His comfort zone is leading. He said inspiring, connecting, game management, doing both these jobs is still a learning on the job kind of affair. Pump fake on the throw and leaving it short. Again, intended receiver is Kurtz. Third and nine here for Bryant in this offense. Bryant forced to throw. Trying to get away, picks up the first down. What a scramble for Northwestern, a gain of 10, and the Cats keep moving. It's not Ben Bryant, it's gotta be Jack Lausch. It's about the two jersey, it's a 12 jersey. Ben Bryant's not supposed to be a runner. I mean, he's got, they both have the two, right, on their jersey? Yeah. That's a count for something, Bryant, through the air, nearly picked <laughs> off. <laughs> Trayvon Jones was there, off the fingertips. Right. Second and 10 for Northwestern, trailing by a touchdown. Say Henning at the bottom of your screen, rolling out, trying to avoid pressure, just has to throw it away. Tyler Newbin, Devin Williams charging at Bryant. Bryant's a little slowed, getting up there. And this isn't necessarily a scenario where Northwestern has to drop back and pass it every time here. They've got two timeouts. There's over five minutes remaining. So Rossi is on there in the booth, surveying everything here now in third and 10. Bryant off the fingertips of Cam Porter and brings up fourth down. And Bryant has been hobbling ever since the first half. Tried to get off the field under his own power and couldn't quite make it over there. And that's one of those scenarios where everyone on the sideline just ends up yelling to you and telling you, just, just go down. It gives the athletic training staff the opportunity to come out and truly evaluate you. And he'll take a trip into the medical tent. That ball will stop dead. Expect here a, he a heavy dose of Darius Taylor, perhaps. With a touchdown advantage and some clock to burn. Taylor gets that first handoff so good at getting contact, gain of four. Cadillac Matt is a very athletic quarterback, and the defense, of course, has all eyes on Darius Taylor. He's got a 200-yard rush game after that last carry. 
Couple of touchdowns to his name as well. Look at that, fooled everyone. Calicamanis. And get involved in the rush game. A pickup of 14 for the QB. Taylor tries to cut it back, push back. What a play, Richie Haggerty. Calic Manis off the one foot. Over to Brockington. Pulled down short of the first down. Garnett Hollis Jr. making the play. Gain of nine. On third and two. Two Taylor tries to break it on the outside. How about a stop? Xander Mueller is there for the Wildcats. Mark Crawford. Minnesota with a chance. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Now, why would they do that? <laughs> because it, it was bad. <laughs> he forgot where he was. Poor execution, yeah. All right, so here's Bryant and this Northwestern offense. Pass play to Porter, pick up a five. Second down. Inside two minutes. And over to the sideline, over to Manjiri. They're winding the clock. He wasn't able to quite get out of bounds. Again, third down. No timeouts left here for Northwestern. Bryant looking towards his right. That time they get out of bounds. Cam Johnson doing a nice job. Manjiri on the move. Bryant looks to his left. And drops it off to Porter instead, who's pushed back by Devin Williams. You're almost better off throwing it in completion. You know, you maybe just throw it at the feet of the back in that scenario as opposed to a clean tackle where he's obviously going to go down in bounds and wind the clock. And no gain on that play, second and ten. And the clock's still moving. Bryant gets wrapped up, but a flag's going to come. That's going to be a face mask. And it looked like he grabbed the jaw of Ben Personal Bryant. foul, face mask, defense number 17. I see what he did there. 15-yard penalty for the end of the run. Out. Automatic first down. <laughs> It collapsing on Bryant, but he gets rid of it. Another first down pass play, and time is ticking. The catch is made it. by Gordon. Bryant spins away. Got to be careful. Flag is out. Holding. Offense number 72. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Northwestern's got to find the end zone to extend this game, first and 20. Bryant, sliding, diving, catch, incomplete. Over the middle. To his tailback, Hyman. Ball makes the stop, pick up of eight, third down. Time is not on Northwestern side. Here comes Minnesota with some pressure. Bryant got to get out of bounds for the Wildcats. Gordon makes the play. Wow. Bryant, nearly taken down, finds Henning. Seconds keep going again. Northwestern doesn't have any timeouts. It was a first down now. They decided that, so the clock will briefly stop. And Bryant will clock it. Watch the pitch. Watch the pitch and run. You can hear P.J. Fleck telling the officials to watch the rub routes. Bryant. Coin and zone pass is broken up. Cam Johnson, the intended receiver. Trayvon Jones is there. Five seconds to play. Northwestern's got to find the end zone to extend this game. Bryant pump fake into the end zone. It's caught. A.J. Henning keeps the Wildcats' hopes alive. Jack Olson with a crucial extra point attempt. 
Olsen, the kick is up. We're tied at 31. Trailed 31 to 10. And we are headed to some extra football. We are headed to overtime. Tails, Tails is his call. It is ahead. You've won the toss. You want to be on defense? Which end do you want to play on? So each team will start on the 25-yard line. Kelly McManus, wow, all kinds of coverage. Kelly McManus into the air, wow, hanging on to the play. Coombs is going to hang on that time, a gain of 14. Kelly McManus to Bryce Williams, pushing his way right up the gut. Williams with 15 yards tonight, second and goal. Williams again cuts it left and brought down in the backfield. Yeah, that's the big question. Taylor, a 198 yard rush day watching from the sideline. Williams stays in. Kelly McManus off the hands of Spanford, nearly intercepted. Soares Jr. providing the quarterback pressure. Kessich, the lefty, with the field goal try. And Minnesota gets three points here in overtime. Northwestern wins the game with a touchdown. Rolling out, boot action. Brian all alone. Northwestern, the catch is made. Manchuri with the game winner. Down 21. Down three scores. And the Cats' comeback is complete. Charlie Manchuri's third career touchdown, the difference in his first since 2020. Off play action, booting towards the backside. This is where you are trusting your quarterback because the backfield action gives him an additional beat. And you're trusting that he'll have the arm strength to comfortably toss it back over to the opposing side of the field. I can only imagine Charlie Manjiri as he's waiting wanting this ball to make its way over to him, how long it must have felt it was floating in the air as he's wide open. So happy for these guys, uh, happy for our staff, happy for this community. Uh, gosh, I'm speechless. What does this win mean for this team right now? I think it just proves to everyone within this program of what we're capable of.